Hey guys, I'm pretty excited. Just got me a brand new rifle a couple days ago. Haven't even shot it yet, so I'm I'm pretty excited. This is a Bushmaster 308 ORC, otherwise known as a optics ready carbine, chambered in 308 uh, Winchester. It's basically just an overgrown AR-15 on steroids. Always wanted a gun like this. Was finally able to to finally get me one here, so I'm very very happy. We're gonna talk about the gun real quick. Then my friend Mike and I we're gonna put some rounds through this and uh, let you know what I think of it. Is it gonna be a good gun? Is it gonna be a problem? Well, we'll find out. Uh, the gun comes with no sights, so you have to supply your own. But it does come with two half-inch riser mounts which I've already installed and I've put a name point red dot on this. So basically you got a 16 inch heavy barrel, got the adjustable buttstock. Now the only thing I've done to this gun is I've swabbed out the bore, mounted the scope, I have bore sighted it, hasn't been shot like I said so it's only been bore sighted and I put a, I took the hard plastic grips off and put on a set of whole rubber grips. So actually when we shoot this, we're going to have to fine tune the scope, but uh, I want to get the very first rounds fired on video just to see how it's going to do. And I'll cover the uh, ammo here in just a minute. But, uh, I, oh, the gun does come with one 20 round magazine. And I do happen to have a, a, a Magpul 25 round magazine with me. The gun comes with uh, two riser mounts, the magazine, and a sling. So I'm going to turn this, uh, well, I'm going to cover the ammo, then I'm going to turn it over to Mike, and uh, we're just going to have some fun with this gun today. You know, right now I don't have any American-made ammo, so I'm going to get some and I'm going to do a future video on this rifle where I'm going to put a scope on it, shoot some American-made ammo, and check the accuracy at 100 yards, maybe even 300 yards. But, you know, for today we're going to shoot some wolf ammo. We've got some silver bear we're going to shoot. Herders, which is actually made by Tula. I've got some stuff made in Venezuela. 1990 and I have a couple rounds of Lake City got some uh, tracer rounds we're gonna put through the gun so I'm gonna let Mike start off with uh, 10 rounds of wolf ammo and we'll see how it uh, how it shoots pretty close, pretty close huh? It's a lot of recoil. Like, What's that? It's a lot of recoil. It's not uh, excessive, but it is a lot there. One round fell to fire, huh? Looks like it. Okay. Well, what do you think so far? It's a good gun. Um, surprisingly, the sight, uh, even though it's just bore sighted, it's, it's pretty close. Like, it's close enough to, to use. Um, it's heavier, like a mile, than a standard AR, so it's harder to hold the thing up and aim uh, standing than a regular AR. But it's, it's pretty good. Um, uh, I can see, uh, I can see the drawn of these things. I've never really messed around with AR-10s too much, you know, uh -huh. in, the, uh, in the real world as it were, but uh, this guy works pretty good. So we're going to try and hit them uh, milk jugs that we got set out there. They're about 
Well, about 175 yards away, we think. And uh, we're gonna see what this thing can do. The same point is just bore sided. We haven't we haven't moved anything around, but uh, seems to be pretty close. But, uh, see what this thing can do. 175 should barely be a sighting distance for this thing. There you go. Took a couple of rounds, we got it. Seemed to like that silver bear pretty well. Okay, good. Yeah, good uh, good recoil on that thing. Is it, it felt, um, actually felt like we had more recoil on the silver bear than on uh, the other ammunition that we were using. Well, you know what, Mike? I think I'm gonna shoot that baby. All right. All right. I got 10 rounds of that uh, Venezuela stuff, so let's see how it, how it shoots in this. That does have a smart little kick to it, don't it? I like it. A little bit of kick, but you got to expect that from a seven and a half pound rifle. You see it's smoking a little bit. That's pretty cool. All right, you know what? Let's load this up, Mike, and just have a little fun with it. All right. Sweet. <laughs> Yeah, I do like this gun. Really like this aim point too. That's a uh, 9000 SC. I've got an eight inch steel plate out there at 200 yards. I'm gonna take a couple shots at it. Now this scope has a four inch dot, which means it covers four inches at 100 yards. So it's gonna cover eight inches at 200 yards. But uh, I'm gonna take a couple shots and see if I can hit it. I've got a second camera set up that's zoomed in on it so we can get a better look at it. Let's see if I can hit it. Well, I got three out of three on it, and I'm just using wolf ammo, so I'm pretty happy with this gun and with that wolf ammo.
Okay, I've got five tracer rounds I'm going to shoot through this up in, the, up in the rocks up here. Now it's about 35 degrees out. We've had some snow, so everything's a little wet, so there's really no chance of these starting to fire. So let's take a few shots and see what they look like. Well, you know, put about 100 rounds through this, Mike and I did, and uh, except for that one Russian round that fell to fire, I have not had a problem with this gun. Really, really just love this thing. If you're looking for a good 308, take a look at the Bushmaster. Really impressed with this gun. Oh, that uh, Russian round that fell to fire, I got it right here. We're going to try it again. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.